Okay, this is Try 24-7. Uh, very, very pleased and proud to be joined with uh, Chris Boardman, uh, legend of British cycling. Uh, we're in central London, we're at the Future Gallery, and this is the official 2011 launch of Boardman Bikes. So, Chris, uh, big day for you today. I know a lot of planning and work's gone into uh, the new range, so uh, just give us a, a bit of an insight into uh, what people can expect from the new uh, Boardman range. Well, pretty much every frame that we've, we've used so far, that the, the whole frame platforms have been changed throughout. Um, we've done an awful lot of work, a lot of R&D has gone into to optimising tube profiles, both the aerodynamics for the, uh, for the road aero bikes and for, uh, for the time trial bikes, and um, for strength and stiffness for mountain bike and the climbing bike. So pretty much everything is new, so it'll take about 20 minutes to answer that question. Um, we've, we've had a look at the bikes and they do look absolutely fantastic. Um, Broadly, from the, the, the bikes that most of our readers are going to be interested in will be the, the road bikes and the time trial bikes, and they sort of seem to be split into what you're calling the performance range and the elite range. Yeah, I mean, the performance range is, is what we've worked with with, uh, with Halfords to date, and it's, our biggest challenge has just been keeping up with demand, has been fantastic. Um, so all the work we've done for the new elite range, which sits above that, for those are the real high-tech stuff, has actually filtered down as well. So. We're really happy that we've managed to hit price points that a lot of people can afford as well. Um, a lot of work has been done on the aero side of it. And some people know that I've worked extensively with the British team running the Secret Squirrel Club for, for some years. None of that information can be used, but a lot of expertise was gained in who to work with, what tools to use, that we can use. And, and we've been employing that over the last 18 months to get some, uh, some nice tube shapes and some, uh, some good theory into practice. And Well, the result's out there and we're really happy with it. And uh, you, you started in 2007, um, you've had a lot of success with, with the brand, um, obviously winning the Olympic Games through Nicole Cook, uh, World Championships through uh, the Brownlee brothers and others. Um, that success came pretty quickly, so you must be you know, very, very pleased with, with, with really just how, how fast the whole Bournemouth brand took off. Yeah, we are. I mean, we, we've, um, I mean our co-founder of the business, Alan Ingerfield, his background was in triathlon. It was him who actually contacted uh, Alistair to start with. And, he just absolutely loves his sport. Uh, and the guys got involved with us, we got their feedback, we actually got to put that into making some product. Um, and we feel a real responsibility, to be honest, and it, it, it does sound slightly cheesy, but we're actually backing Olympic athletes, and I know what that feels like. So we've got a real responsibility to make sure when they go to the game in London, they've got a product that's as good as anything else out there, if not better. Um, and then we've been working really hard on that. Um, and then the information that we gain from doing that with them then goes into the rest of the range. So the road bikes they'll be on for, uh, for the game is going to be pretty special. And um, you know, as we, we talked there about the, the Brownleys, but you, you've also sponsored other athletes, uh, both currently and in the past, uh, you know, Will Clark, Holly Avil, and previously Rasmus Henning in the, the long distance. Um, tri triathlon has been fairly important to the, to the growth of, of, of Borman bikes. And do you see, is that a trend that you see growing? And is there a large proportion of your sales actually going to triathletes who are doing maybe triathlons and sportives and time trials? Yeah, I think for me, it's, it's a really interesting part of, of the market as well, because they, they understand their aero probably better than the road guys. I mean, the, the road guys tend to be focused towards weight and they can pick it up and go past the parade. But the, the triathletes have a background in really understanding aero. And, and I like that because you can actually make changes and, and put some things in place that they can really appreciate and understand. Um, and it's, it's something that we're really interested in. Been involved with, with the brands as well. And, and Holly has been, has been great because we understand it from a user perspective. And I've been in a wind tunnel with, uh, with all of those guys. Uh, and got to spend some time where we, they've tried some product and given me some feedback which has come back to us so it's it's a good partnership uh, i know uh, a couple of years ago saw you running the london marathon clearly you can you can ride a bike is there any any plans to ever see chris boardman uh, combining that with a with a wetsuit and uh, having to go at triathlon yourself well i spend a lot of time under the water because diving is one of my primary passions um, but I, unfortunately i've just been i love my running and I've just been stopped from running by a specialist because I broke my ankle in six places in the Tour, Tour de France in 95 and it's just, my ankles, left ankle's just packed in. So ironically, the only thing I can do now is ride a bike. Um, we spoke to one of your, your product guys earlier and, and one of the big changes that I think is going to be happening um, around the elite range is up to now all of the bikes have always, always been sold through Halfords but uh, there's some plans to, to extend that to, to some of those performance bikes and they're going to be available at some other outlets uh, later on this year. Yeah, the, the, the Halfords relationship, we've just been more than happy because we've been able to, to do all the things we wanted to do super quickly and build a, you know, a British brand up. And we, we, you know, we've been really happy with that. 
and they know, we know that we, we, we're really interested in the whole absolute pinnacle of sport, which isn't quite right for them right now. We wanted to do it. We've developed that product. We have to do it for those Olympic athletes and the people that we're involved with. So we've done that, uh, and at the moment we're looking for the right, certainly in the UK, the right uh, independent dealers to work with us. It'll only be a small number, and we're really choosy about who we work with, but uh, we're on that now. So I would say you're a few months away from having that available through other outlets in the UK, the Olympic part of it. And just sort of looking beyond that, obviously you know, Boardman, a British brand, great success in the UK, fantastic reviews. Are you looking to extend um, the, the product and the brand overseas into Europe and maybe maybe worldwide? And how are you going to go about sort of that next phase, if that is is the plan for, for Boardman Bikes? It is very much so. I mean, because we thought this, this is so good and we put so much effort into producing this. We've got probably over 50 models now in the entire range. And it's got to go worldwide, so it's one of our biggest biggest goals is to do that but we're very much in the advanced stage of planning and making that happen and it's one of the reasons we got involved with the United Healthcare team, pro, pro bike riding team um, and so that's all that's underway now but again I would say you're only a few months away from that happening having availability pretty much all over, over the world. Well um, that's um, fantastic to hear, um, really enjoyed having a look at the, the range tonight. Um, if you want to find out more about Borman Bikes you'll be able to go to BormanBikes.com. Also have a look on the site, uh, should be heavily linked to this interview, uh, all the news from the launch and I'm sure we'll be bringing you more on the range of Borman Bikes uh, throughout the rest of uh, 2011.